Hey, what's going on? Kate McShay here, coming to you from my home office in Vancouver, Washington. And I hope that you're doing well. And you probably came across this video because you were looking into an MLM blog, or how to build a, an MLM blog, a multi-level marketing blog, or how to, even better, have a successful MLM blog. And what I'm going to share with you today is I'm going to share with you the five pillars of effective marketing. And these five pillars have to do with how to have an effective blog and how to have how to be successful at marketing whatever you're marketing in order to get some leads get people interested into what you've got going on and also get those leads to convert into sales and all that has to do with building an MLM blog but the cool thing about this video is that those five pillars of effective marketing you can also take to other pieces of um, of online marketing so you can take it through to you know some of the other social media aspects that you do through Facebook through video marketing through pretty much like anything you're doing on the web these five things even offline you should be doing to have to be an effective marketer and have your marketing be effective so let's just dive right into it and one thing I wanted to point out to you before we go through numbers one through four is look at the one that's on the bottom here the one on the bottom here is sales right this is the last thing that you should be thinking about with marketing okay yes everybody wants sales everybody wants to make money everyone wants to convert their leads into sales but this is the last thing you need to be thinking about you have to have all these other things in place before you can be thinking about sales. The one thing, one major thing that most people do wrong is they hop right into sales first and that's why they normally have a harder time getting their leads to convert to sales or getting anybody to buy anything. So stick with me because these four are what you need to have first to, be in, to have effective marketing in order to create some sales for yourself. So the first thing that you need with an MLM blog or with any kind of effective marketing is you need awareness. And what that means is how will people become aware of what you've got going on? And really what that means is that I know so many people that have multi-level marketing blogs and because they know that blogs are powerful. It's a great way to generate people to a place of where you can give content and value and where you can explain your opportunity and you know hopefully get people to join your team or or generate any kinds of leads from a blog but the problem is is that they're blogging every single day but they're not doing certain things to make people aware of what they're doing so what we're, what we're talking about is with an MLM blog the first thing you want to think of is how will I get people there so that can either be through SEO through search engine optimization so you start to learn a little bit more about that how you can get your blogs to rank on the first page of Google um, because that is obviously going to create more traffic for you. Um, how you can start targeting specific words that people search for online um, and put them into your blogs. That's getting awareness of you know something that you're talking about in your multi-level marketing blog. Um, also, spreading it out through social media. If you've got a Facebook page, which most people do, or a Facebook fan page, if you if you have a home business, which you should, you should have a Facebook fan page, posting it on there, putting it on your YouTube channel. So utilizing all these other places to make people aware of what you've got going on with your blog. Because you could be writing every day, but if nobody else sees it, is it ever going to convert into sales? No, probably not. So that's the first step, is making people aware Figuring out how people can become aware of what you've got going on. Where can you share that information so people will come and put their eyes on it? Second thing is communication. Okay, Communication and information distribution. So really what that means is our job is to communicate, to educate, and to inform people in multi-level multi marketing. So this could be, and this is important with an MLM blog because you're really talking about What's your purpose of your blog? If your purpose is talking about your primary company and all you're ever doing is communicating about how awesome your product is and your comp plan is great and these are your blogging, this is what you're blogging every single day, you're probably not going to get a lot of people to want to know more about what you've got going on. So you have to kind of think about what's your niche, what what are you going to be talking about all the time that people that the majority of people can relate to? So say it is, you know, your MLM is in health and wellness. Could you talk about, you know, do a blog post on, uh, let's see, 
five things you can do to create a healthier lifestyle. Or, let's see, um, three things you can do in the mornings to up your, um, up your metabolism. Or if it's like a food thing or like a drink, you know, uh, two things that you can add into your, into your daily meals to increase your metabolism or to just make you have a better all, overall feel for your life. Again, you're not pitching them a product or anything. You're communicating that your blog's going to be about health and wellness, but you're educating them, and then you can also inform them on, you know, every once in a while, we say the 90-10 rule, so 90% of content and value that everybody can take, and then 10% about your product, or 10% about your company, your cool things that you've got going on with your company. Okay, does that make sense? So that 90-10 rule where you're communicating something, you're speaking to these people, and it's consistent. You're not one day communicating about health and wellness, and the next day you're writing about your dog Barney and how he, you know, rolled over for the first time. And then you hop back to health and wellness, and then you hop over to, you know, the power of, of having a low cell phone bill. You've got to stay consistent with what you're communicating and educating, and then in turn you can inform them about your business through your blog. Third thing is connection. Um, this is huge. This is one part that a lot of people, um, especially new to online marketing, tend to forget. So they hop right down into sales and they start communicating, right? And they're writing their blog every single day about how powerful their product is, how, how great their comp plan is, um, you know, how, how awesome their team is and their upline is or, or you know, whatever they've got going on. And they miss this connection part. They miss the community. They miss all three. They, they're not making people aware. Um, they're not necessarily communicating appropriately to the masses. And as well, they're not connecting. You want to make, build, and sustain people. Sustain customers. The best customers are the customers who always come back. Yes, your blog may not always mean that the people who are buying things from you are not just joining your team, but they may buy a product. If you're an affiliate for another company and you sell different products or trainings, they might buy things from you from there. So when you start to create a rapport, so become someone that people know, like, and trust, that's when you're going to start to see people interested in what you've got going on and those people who continue to come back every single day to read your blog and check to see what you've got going on or what information or value you have to give that day. And when you're giving value, giving value, giving value, and then you ask them 90, right, 90% 90 of the time giving value, 10% for them to give something back to you, you're going to have a higher success rate of those people, those leads converting into sales for you and for you to make some money. So remember, you want to make, build, and sustain a group of people who are going to want to come back all the time. You want to connect. You want to become that person that people will know, like, and trust. And one really great way, um, a tip I wanted to give you that we do on our own blog is that we post a video along with every single blog that we write. We post a quick video, um, and you could be watching it on our blog right now, of me communicating with you whatever our blog topic was. Because what that's showing you is that I'm a real person and that I'm not just this robot who's writing down these articles or, you know, this person who's just trying to get you to sell, sell, sell. My job is to connect with you and for you to get to know me. Would You probably wouldn't have any idea what I looked like if you just saw my blog and it was just an article every time and it was just a blog post, um, you know, about whatever my blog, my MLM blog is about or whatever your MLM blog is about. So video, if you incorporate that into your blog posts, it's really powerful because it's a great way for people to connect with you. Um, uh, the fourth thing, and this one's really big that a lot of people forget, is service. And so what that really is kind of meaning is it's kind of like customer service. Um, and if you got, you got to think about your blog in a way as you're serving people, you're giving people content, you serve before you sell, serving before selling. And that could mean simply somebody writes a comment on one of your blog posts, Write back to them. Someone asks you a question. Give them an answer. Find the answer for them if you don't know what it is quite yet. Um, have a space in your blog for people to connect with you, to enter in their information um, because they want to know more about you and what's going on. And actually call them if they leave your if they leave their phone number. If they don't leave their phone number and they leave their email, email them. Serve them before you sell them something. 
And again, that's going to go back up to connecting with them, building a rapport, creating a relationship with them to see that you're a real person and you're looking out to help them and to serve them to see what would fit best in order to help them out. So serving them, um, another thing for service, another great thing that you can do if you want to add it in as a little extra piece to maybe something you are selling is adding in a, a 30 minute free tr uh, coaching call with you or free, you know, uh, free webinar, like half hour webinar that you go through with them and it's like a question and answer between the two of you. It's just another extra way to serve them before they actually are sold into buying a, tr a product or whatever or joining your team. It's just another way to show that you're the real deal. Okay, you're here to market and you're here to, you know, to build a business. And it's something that you that you take seriously. If you offer free coaching or you say, hey, you know what, it does sound like you're confused with whatever you've got going on. Let's hop on the phone for 10 minutes just so they can see that you're legitimate. And then, of course, the last thing, which is important. If you're doing all these things, but it's not going to convert into sales for you, then it, you, know, you are building a business. You do need to make an income. So really the, important, the most important thing with sales, because you can find tons of different recruiting, um, recruiting trainings or scripts. I'm sure your MLM has different scripts that you can say. But the biggest and most important part of sales is in order to close, in order to get someone to close, in order to make a sale, all of these things have to be put in place. People have to be aware of what you've got going on. You have to communicate, educate, and inform them. So that 90-10% rule on your blog, 90% value and content that people can just take away immediately, and then 10% showing you know, a new product that you've got going on, something with your multi-level marketing company, that that might interest them, you know, talking about maybe a new incentive trip that your MLM company is doing and how great it is and you can't wait to go and share it with your team. If you want more information, click the link below, enter in your information and I'll give you a call. So again, that's just that 90-10% rule. And then connecting with them, making sure that you are showing them that you're a human being just like they are and that you're out to help them out. And then of course your service. Giving, you know, responding to their requests, answering their questions, commenting back on what they comment for you, saying thank you, hopping on the phone with them, even if it's just for 10 minutes, super quick, um, or, or giving away a free coaching session if they were to buy something. Those are things that are so powerful and just make you, like, way above the rest. And it just makes you show that you're, that you're in it for real. And then your hope and it does happen is that when all of these things are in place, sales will come. You will convert those people who are interested into either joining your team, buying your product, or buying something that you're an affiliate for. So again, I hope that this helped you out. Um, really, that's kind of what you want a blog to look like when it comes to MLM. You don't want to pitch your product all the time. Same thing on Facebook. People that pitch their products all the time on Facebook rarely get anybody to sign up that way. So, so, so be smart when it comes to your marketing through your blog. Give that value. Dish out that content. And remember, you can do it around whatever your product is. So if it is a cell phone service, you can talk about, you can do blog posts on different things about, you know, cell phone service or, or whatever you want, but it's not always talking about your product. So, uh, so I hope that this gave you value, and if it did, comment below. If you've got any questions, comment below. Um, if it really gave you some serious value, please like it on Facebook, um, you know, Google Plus it, share it with your friends, as well as, you know, check out our blog, too, if you want any more extra information or, you know, see some posts that we've done to get some examples on how you can build a stronger MLM blog as well as check out our YouTube channel, um, too, because we've got a bunch of videos posted up there that aren't always included in our blog, so we've got some extra ones, too, just in case you want to check those out. So again, this is Kate McShay, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Take care and come back soon.